there, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends. This is the first time that I've ever gone live on YouTube. And it was a little bit scary doing it the first time. And I don't know what to say, but if there's anyone out there, hello. I'm actually painting a stencil today, Funky Junk's Old Sign Stencils. In, and it's a buffalo check stencil and I'd show you except I'll just have to flip around I'm by myself today usually my husband helps me out with camera work and that kind of thing but hey it's just no other day like today to be spontaneous I'm using my Klingon 035 brush now it's not a stencil brush but here's a great tip for you if you're using a long bristled brush just hold your fingers down towards the bottom and you create more of a, a stiffer brush here at the end to do your stenciling with you could either tie a rubber band at the end of it to do the same thing or use some painter's tape and just wrap it around the base. Today, I'm just going to use my fingers to just hold the bristles instead of holding the brush up here, I'm just holding it down low. Hey, if you're there, I don't know how to see comments. This is the first time I've gone live on YouTube. So it is what it is. And um, I'm gonna get more experience in this because this should be fun. Usually I go live over on my Facebook page, but I'm here on YouTube going live today. I'm a bit excited about doing something new. So um, let me know in the comments or chat or wave. What do you even do? I don't know. So I will find out. I'm just dipping a tiny bit of the end of my bristles into the paint. I'm using Fusion's Coal Black to create a buffalo check stencil. Now I've just got a tiny bit on the end of my brush with stenciling. It's really important too. If you've seen any of my other videos on stenciling, you'll know that you use a dry brush, it's the best. So I just wipe off the excess on a bit of newspaper and let me show you this stencil, it's really cool. And I've got to look for a little flip around button. Just let me move this for a second. We are live here today, people. I have not done YouTube live ever in my life. So if you have, that's awesome. I'm brand new to going live on YouTube. So just move that back a bit so we can see and I'm just gonna flip this around. Oh, there we go. So this is a buffalo check stencil. And this is the stencil right here. I've already done the top part, the top section up here, so that's what it's going to look like. I'm using, I'm just doing it on a cushion cover from Ikea, just an Ikea cover. And the stencil, I've lined up the pattern here to match up with this last line that I've painted. And we're going down to do this section here, so the stencil is from uh, Old Sign Stencils by Funky Junk Interiors. And as I was saying, with the brush, I've just put a tiny bit on the end of my brush. I've dried off the brush as much as I can. Actually, I'm just gonna do that again because I feel like the brush could have dried out in that time. So, drying off on a piece of newspaper. Hopefully you can all hear me all right. There's uh, small thin lines here and a large space. So I'm gonna go first of all with the large space going inside the center of the circle then kind of moving in towards the center from the outside corners. Hopefully you can see that all right there. And sort of do a swirling motion as well. Now I'm not too worried if it's not going to show everything, like all the paint, I'm not worried about filling it completely in and getting a really um, solid look because I love that farmhouse rustic appearance and if you can see on some of these others it's not fully solid the color so I'm not too worried about that uh, I don't know if I can see comments or anything like that I'm here by myself today my husband's gonna probably crack up because I haven't used my microphone either so sorry about that people <laughs> nothing like being spontaneous and going live for the very first time on YouTube um, you can also follow me over on Facebook, Instagram. I do a lot of stories on Instagram. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. I'd love you to subscribe. Have a, have a look through there if you like uh, if you like stenciling or if you're interested in stenciling. On, I've made a few wood signs and show you my top stenciling tips and techniques for doing that. So as you can see, I've kind of gone back and forth in these little... Uh, what do you call them? Slots here. Every so often I'm dipping my brush in, drying the, wiping the excess off the brush because you want a fairly dry brush because you don't want the um, paint bleeding through underneath the stencil. 
You want to get nice crisp lines and that's the best way I've found to do it. So I'm going to find out very soon how to do, how to read comments if there are any. If you are there, give me a wave, give me a like. What do you do on YouTube? I don't even know. Oh, there's some thumbs up. There's a thumbs up thing. You could give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. So thanks for joining me on my very first YouTube live and I'll find out more how to do these as we go along. So there's a little bit about stenciling with buffalo check. I'll show you a close up there. As I said before, some of them aren't really uh, solid and that's okay because here's the final look over here and you can see that it's quite nicely rustic looking. And so that's all we've been doing is just filling in a little swirling motion there. Getting right to the edges with those swirls. And I hold my brush right down at the bottom with my fingers, but as I was saying in the beginning, you can put some painter's tape around here or a rubber band to hold those bristles tightly down there. So there you go. I will just stop that there so I can show you how that turns out as you see when you're taking it off. I haven't done this section here. That's the finished look there. And here is a cushion that I've done earlier and I put painter's tape over the edge. As you can see, I've put painter's tape on the edge here because I was just going to leave that edge clean. So I've done that, is left that edge clean. Anyway, I'll be posting some pictures up on my social media. Thanks so much for watching on my first YouTube Live.